yeah, Republicans and Democrats excited about this. They came together today to talk about how that caucus will work and what the goals are. In 2016, there was one Latino in the legislature. And so in 2018, there were two. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, now in 2021, we have four. Senator Michael Brooks saying the number of Latinos at the Capitol is growing as the number across Oklahoma does too. Democrats and Republicans together saying today representation is so important. My grandparents both came from Mexico. And I wonder sometimes if they were still alive, if they would have ever thought that their granddaughter of Mexican immigrants would ever be serving in a position like this. I learned English in the first grade. I naturalized when I was 20 uh, years old and graduated from law school only two years ago. And to be able to uh, stand in this position and, and uh, be able to be a part of this exciting group uh, is uh, a dream come true, but it was a dream that I never really dreamed of. The members saying they may not agree on everything, but this at least will open a dialogue and they say hopefully set an example. This concept of being a Latino kid that could maybe one day do this job was very foreign to me. So I hope maybe with the launch of this caucus, there are kids out there that could say, wow, this isn't beyond my grasp. This is something I can do. And one interesting thing about this caucus, they're going to invite staff from around the Capitol who are of Latino heritage to join meetings. And starting next session, they'll also be reaching out to lawmakers who have a significant Latino population in their districts. At the Capitol, Dylan Richards, KOCO 5 News.